Hello students. Welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through rational numbers. In previous sessions, we have examined commutative property for whole numbers, integers, and rational numbers. Today, we are going to discuss associative property. First, let's look at associative property for whole numbers. We will start with addition. Take three whole numbers, three, seven, and eight. Let's add them. When adding these whole numbers, we can group them into either three plus, seven plus eight, equals three plus 15, equals 18, or three plus seven plus eight, equals 10 plus eight, equals 18. The results are the same, regardless of the grouping of the operation. That is, 3 plus 7 plus 8 equals 3 plus 7 plus 8 equals 18. We can see that, grouping the numbers, either way, does not affect the result. This property is called, associative property. So, associative property for addition, says that, when three or more numbers are added, the sum is the same, regardless of the grouping of the add ends. In general, we can say that, for any three whole numbers, A, B, and C, A plus, B plus C, equals A plus B, plus C. That is, addition is, associative, for whole numbers. Now, let's look at, subtraction of whole numbers. We will continue with the same three whole numbers, 3, 7, and 8. Let's group the operation in two different ways as follows and see what we get. First, 3 minus 7 minus 8 equals 3 minus minus 1 equals 4, and second, 3 minus 7 minus 8 equals minus 4 minus 8 equals minus 12. That is, 3 minus 7 minus 8 is not equal to 3 minus 7 minus 8. Hence, subtraction is not associative for whole numbers. Let's examine multiplication of whole numbers next. Using the same three whole numbers, 3, 7, and 8. While multiplying these numbers, we can again group them into either 3 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 8 equals 3 multiplied by 56 equals 168 or 3 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 8 equals 21 multiplied by 8 equals 168. That is, 3 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 8 equals 3 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 8 equals 168. As we have seen, in the case of addition, the results are the same, regardless of the grouping of the numbers. In general, we can say that for any three whole numbers, A, B, and C, a multiplied by b multiplied by c equals a multiplied by b multiplied by c. That is, multiplication is associative for whole numbers. Finally, let's examine the division of whole numbers. Again using the same three whole numbers, 3, 7, and 8. While dividing these numbers, we can again group them in two different ways as follows. First, 3 divided by 7 divided by 8 equals 3 divided by 7 by 8 equals 3 multiplied by 8 by 7 equals 24 by 7. And second, 3 divided by 7 divided by 8 equals 3 by 7 divided by 8 equals 
3 by 7 multiplied by 1 by 8 equals 3 by 56. Hence when dividing these numbers by grouping them in two different ways, we can easily say that the results are not equal. That is, the division is not associative for whole numbers. Let's recall what we discussed today. For any three whole numbers, A, B, and C. A plus B plus C equals A plus B plus C. And A multiplied by B multiplied by C equals A multiplied by B multiplied by C. While A minus B minus C is not equal to a minus b minus c a divided by b divided by c is not equal to a divided by b divided by c hence we can say that for whole numbers addition and multiplication are associative while subtraction and division are not associative before winding up Let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Check the associative property for multiplication for the numbers A equals 12, B equals 9, and C equals 21. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.